Hello everyone, welcome to episode of Showcase um, Bloodborne. Today, the last of the offhand weapons, or shields. Now, in Dark Souls, you rely on shields. They're effective, they're useful. In Bloodborne, not so much. Take the Wind Shield, for example. It's as terrible as it looks. A crew wind shield used by the masses who have risen to join the hunt. Hunters don't normally employ shields, ineffectual against the strength of the beast as they tend to be. Shield knights, if not for endearing passivity. So yeah. They're not that great, at least not the wooden one. But nonetheless, I will review it, at least a short while, but stat-wise, well, shit, there's not a whole lot to say here. <laughs> it's not a whole lot here. You got no basic stats, of course, durability is 120, and the attribute requirement is 8 strength, 8 skill, so pretty much anyone can use it. Visually, well, it's not that great, it's a bunch of driftwood by the looks of it. However, I will give you some information, what I can actually do. It can block mm, types of damage. Physical, 50%. Blood, 20%. Arcane, 40%. Bolt, 30%. And Fire, 20%. So it's gonna have physical damage. And almost have arcane damage. Everything else is not even worth it in the same realm. <laughs> so yeah. So, the shield. There's more, there's more problems with it too. It's not just, it's not very good at blocking damage. It also, you lose a shit ton of stamina when you do block. So, like, more than you would uh, for dodging. So, here's some basic damage. I've like been chopped, and I'll use the uh, the uh, shield here. Take more attention to the stamina, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> three quarters of my damn stamina. Holy fuck, this thing sucks. So, a light attack, as with this torch, it, he does ricochet, though. Just not heavy attacks, or I think medium attacks. So yeah, physical wise, it's it weren't some purpose, I guess. If you're really, really terrible at dodging, well, you better get good soon, cause you won't get far in the game. If I were to rely on this shield instead of dodging, I wouldn't even make it past the first area. <laughs> oh shit, this thing's terrible. So yes, wooden shield, absolutely abysmal. And not to mention, when it's in your hand, you can't normally parry. You can use rare palash here to parry for you, but that's only that weapon. So yeah, and against even, but like, you would think that, okay, maybe against when the enemy shoots you, it would be decent, but as you saw, no, like 20, blocks 20% 20 of blood attacks, which is guns. You see, I can't even barely notice that difference of damage. It's fucking terrible. It's horrible. So yeah, it's clearly a joke on the developer's parts to not use shields to force you out of it. Of course, it does block 40% of, uh, arcane damage, which is... it's okay. But, you know, it's probably better just to dodge the damage altogether. If you're... in fact, I did say, if you're dealing with arcane damage, you should have, been got, you should have got good at dodging by then. <laughs> okay, enough of the wooden shield. Let's go on to the Lok shield. An Esmeralda shield crafted with a blue glass. Originally used to safeguard the leader of a presiding over the sacred healing church ceremony, and later supplied to the tomb of prospectors in a particular and exploring the labyrinth of I Izu. The blue fashioned after the lake, the shield has greatly reduced all forms of non-physical damage. So, if you're gonna use a shield, use Lock Shield. Of course, by then, it's late in the game, you should be good at dodging. You shouldn't have to use this. Nobody should, if you've already got it. You got it, you demonstrate you're good at dodging. Or you like to cater to people doing it for you. <laughs> okay, so here we are, the basics. You can see the durability is slightly better. You got 160 opposed to 120. Trade requirements almost the same. You need 11 strength and 8 skill. Only 3 more strength, so... So, so it's pretty, pretty easy to wield by the point you get it. You should be able to. Okay, so that actually looks like a shield now. Stat-wise, it's pretty simple. I'll only give you two stats. It blocks 30% physical damage, so that's pretty trash. However, all the types of damage are negated by 70%. So that's significant. So that's Blood, Bolt, Lightning, Arcane. That's quite a bit. So that's actually a shield that can actually do something. The stamina is still a problem, but you know, at least it can block something effectively. Now going back to that Arcane attack, we let the... let's block one of them and just see how it does in terms of difference. So the stamina is still a problem, although you can still block Arcane attacks even with zero stamina. Okay. So I'm going to let all of them hit me. We're going to see the mass difference here. Okay, I barely survived that. 
That stuff is truly as deadly in the second playthrough. Okay, let's block it all. Uh, okay, and there we go. And a significant difference. I survived it, barely scathed. Of course, physical damage is always significantly different, but I'll shorten it to less and the stamina drain. So yeah, in fact, with one block from that, it took all my stamina. So yeah, heavy attack will break your guard. Need to say, this thing is entirely fucking useless in PvP. Like, it's really useless. Like, why would anyone use this in PvP? Okay, it's time to go into the pros and cons of the wooden shield. Okay, pros. Oh dear. Uh, it can block some physical damage. That's it. That's the only problem given this. Collins, where do I even begin? Uh, it's terrible at blocking most forms of damage. Uh, when you use it, you lose a lot of stamina when you block. You cannot parry with it in your offhand. Is it either shield things? It's just not that great. So you get the idea. I think those cons speak for itself. Now, for the score, there's only going to be one score. The effectiveness. And this score will be used again for another video. But yeah, the effectiveness of the shield. I give it a 3 out of 10. It at least blocks this some physical damage. I'm not going to say a whole lot, but some. Clearly, it's terrible. That's the rating I'm giving this. So it's a 3 out of 10. It's terrible. Now let's spend a bit more time on Look Shield, since it's a legitimate shield that actually does something. On the pros, it's very good at blo blocking everything but physical. So at least it's that. And you can at least block a lot of the non-physical damage with no stamina, so it even works in that regard. Providing you can't dodge at all. <laughs> Alright, so it actually, actually has pros. On the cons, uh, you get it fairly late in the game, so by then you should be good at dodging. You should be. Also, it's no good for blocking any physical attacks, really. You shouldn't use it at all. For physical. Like, zero. So yeah. Otherwise, that's the same negative Bennett bolt disadvantages as the uh, wooden shield, where he has no pairing, you know, you use a lot of stamina using it, etc. So going on to the score for the uh, lock shield, for the effectiveness, I give this a 6 out of 10. So yeah, not, not much better. It's usable. I'll put that as a rank for the lock shield. Some people like to swear by these things, but I believe those people aren't very good at dodging. Because I went through the game without using either shield at all. And even against the one enemies that use heavy arcane, I didn't have a huge about that big of a hard time with them. Sure, a shield could have hanged in handy in one or two attacks, but the majority of it I dodged effectively enough. The shields are a hindrance in this game in my opinion. That's how it's designed. Simply put. Well, my character's phase is kind of how I felt like doing this video. I felt it was a little pointless, a little bit of a waste of time, but I guess some people want that information. Well, you have it. In my opinion, which is the opinion of many others, I don't like the shields. I like them in Dark Souls, because they actually know what they work. Bloodborne, they do not. And that's been Showcase today. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope to see you guys next time. Take care out there.